Hello, I haven't done a video in a while, and I had the light bulb idea to actually, instead of filming myself, like my face, I thought I would show off one of my new little art projects or creative endeavors or whatever you want to call it. Um, I have been kind of a Hebrew nerd for the last year and some change, and I kind of started making uh, sigils with Hebrew letters and mushing them together and just kind of making pretty snowflake looking things. So I thought I would actually give this a shot, um, like just d demonstrate me making one. Um, so to make one of these, what I usually need is a phrase and a color and this recording thing is in my way. Can I move it? Uh, maybe not. Can I move it without stopping? <laughs> oh, sweet, I can move it. Um, move it bottom left corner. Nope, that's still in the way. Okay. Alright, let's try that. Um, so, I'm using uh, Adobe Fireworks, which unfortunately is no longer supported, so I have version CS5 and I think they made another one, or another another two. I think they had CS 5.5, and then they had CS 6, and then they may have even brought it into Creative Cloud. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's dead now. So I have a version of it that is functional on my machine, which is awesome. And also, I recently discovered that I can actually make perfectly shaped stars from within the app, because... Like a dumbass, I had been googling nine-pointed star uh, so that I can position the letters that I want to use. And it's like, oh, apparently I can just, this whole time, this whole time, I've been able to make perfectly shaped stars with much less effort. <sighs> anyway, so the reason I picked the nine-pointed star is because the phrase I'm going to use, somebody on my Discord server, um, which I guess... Since I have been so absent from YouTube, there's a lot of ground to cover. Um, I run a Satanist or Left Hand Path Discord server. Uh, it's actually surprisingly successful. I've got like uh, over like 500 people on it, and I mean it's not all Satanists. Like it's kind of just become a general like occult witchy magic type server. So it's like, the aesthetic is, is satanic, and, like, I have a sigil for the server that I made with the same technique, actually, um, which includes some demon names, and it, it looks badass as fuck. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, back to the task at hand. So somebody on my server requested uh, the diamond something brigade? No, I don't know. It's 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 from freaking Steven Universe. All right, I don't watch that show. I've heard it's really popular, especially amongst like queer community people. Maybe someday I'll watch it. I don't know. I have a friend who's like really really annoying at trying to get me to watch it, um, which ironically turned me off. So um, anyway, I've been I've gotten requests from a person to make four different sigils for the different diamond peoples and. I'm gonna go with the blue one for now because, I don't know, it looks like a good one. Alright, so um, I'm gonna start out with my text. And I looked up how to say diamond in Hebrew because I don't know everything, alright? I've only been studying it for a year. Um, apparently it's yahalom, that's one of the words. There's also like diamond shape, which is, uh, I guess, mewian. But I'll go with yahalom, and that's what I've done for the... The pink one. I did the pink one last night and it gave me a lot of trouble. Um, also, Fireworks is kind of stupid about how it handles Hebrew, so I'm gonna have to like simulate right to left because if I write out by default, it does it the wrong direction, which is frustrating. Now, it doesn't matter because I ultimately break apart the text anyway to get the letters, but anyway, let's let's get started here. So it's got, uh, whoops, Yahalom. Yeah, see, if I don't keep switching the pointer, it does it wrong. Um, 
Yahalom, and then the word for blue, which is uh, Kahol. And of course, I can't see what I'm doing because I positioned this not ideally. All right, you are going to stop being in my way. <laughs> Remove the fill color. Give it like a... So I can actually see what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, all right, Kahol. All right, so that means blue diamond. So that's one of the requests. And I've kind of standardized my text size. So for the outer circle, it's 170. And for the inner sigilly part, it's 130. I'm not doing the inner part just yet. So all right, let's convert this to pads. Let's do shift uh, control shift G to ungroup because they start out grouped by default. All right, now this is kind of annoying, but I need to position it somewhere that it's not in my way because I'm too lazy to investigate how to turn off the grid guiding stuff, and it kind of gets annoying because it tries to grid align it with its fellow letters, which are not actually aligned yet. So, so right now my target is to get these nine letters, and yes, I did this ahead of time. I was like, all right, I'm going to need nine letters. Nine. So I'm going to put them at the points of the star. And this is kind of an eyeball in endeavor. It's always, I always do this by hand. Like, just because my sigils come out looking really badass doesn't mean I have any assistance except my own eyeballs. I don't have, like, any fancier grid system than what you'll see, like, these snapping to. So I kind of just eyeball them. Mm, that looks pretty good. And I don't even know what that's aligning to. Ah, yeah, see, this is already kind of annoying. I often zoom in more so I can, like, get it pixel perfect. Uh, that doesn't look quite centered, does it? It's hard because, like, when you're centering stuff like this, it's, it's like, what is the definition of centered? It, I kind of go with... Uh, most of it is in the center, like, and and the parts that are closest to the edge are approximately an equal distance from each edge. This looks pretty good to me, although, I don't know, I could potentially slide it over more to the left, but, but see, now it kind of starts looking unbalanced, so. Anyway, this part doesn't take super long. I mean, it depends on how picky I am about um, positioning. Sometimes I, I give fewer shits. It, it really depends on my mood. Whoops. I accidentally moved it with my touchpad. How do you do that? I didn't know you could do that. Uh, yeah, sure, that looks okay. I'm gonna move these so that I don't accidentally grid align stuff. Really annoying, but I mean, grid alignment is often really helpful, so I don't want to just turn it off. But it's like, and see, they're like, they're grid aligning. Oh, there we go. That's better. Because I want them to be on the same Y level, but also like the equal distance thing needs to continue to be a thing. And some of these letters are differently shaped, so it can take a little bit of finessing to get them to look okay. Mm, that one looks pretty good. Maybe move it. That little part, that little top left part that sticks up is, is kind of makes it hard to tell. But anyway, we're almost done with this preliminary part. And I am going to bottom align that one because, I mean, I could middle align, but it, it, it was looking not like where it should be as far as the point of the star. The star is pointing to where the letter should be. Um, obviously I remove the star when I'm done because I just want the alignment, but oh dear, this Lamed is always a pain in the ass. Actually, yeah, this is pretty okay. I can just drop that. By the way, I'm also doing this with a laptop touchpad, which is not ideal because it's real easy to miss 
fire, basically. So it's like, anyway, I think this looks pretty good. I'm, I'm not in the mood to be super OCD about it. So now I have a file that I usually start out with called Circle Sigil Template, and I don't want to overwrite that, so I'm going to save as. Um, I've got a bit of a gallery here of sigils, as you can see. Um, this is just from the internet. I didn't make that. Um, and this is a uh, Bishvila Harim. It means for others. These are like my commissions. All right. So for this one, let's see, am I still on Evil Gate the keyboard? Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, uh, Yahalom Kahol. All right. And this time, Windows is not stupid, so I can just type. Now, I'm still like not good at touch typing with the key the Hebrew keyboard layout because I haven't done enough of it, but I'm slowly getting better. And I'm also gonna name the file the same thing. I'm focusing here. Looks like I did that one in one go without fucking up. That's always good. <clears throat> Alright, so then I can, oh, I think I forgot to do, <laughs> I forgot to grab the color, whoopsie, um, one sec, I'm gonna look this up on my phone, um, I need the hex, wait, no, fuck, I can't, alright, whatever, you'll, you'll get to see, this is dumb, I'm not doing that anymore, um, get my color picker, Somebody was kind enough to send me the canonical colors, so I can roll with that. And let's give this the color. I'm not coloring the other stuff yet because I'm not done, but I'm saving the color on the circles so that I can grab it for later. All right, now this is really the art artsy quote unquote part. The way I do it is like super not artsy. <laughs> I'm like, my friends give me a hard time sometimes about me being a machine. Um, so this is the phrase, and I'm gonna remove duplicate letters. So we already got a Vav, so that can go. We've already got a Lamed, so that can go. And now this is probably gonna be the underwhelming part, but I literally just shove the letters together, like trial and error, just like, I don't know, does it look like a continuous shape? Sure, great, fuck it. Like, that's, you have to understand there's not nearly as much thought put into these as you might think. Like, it's all just arranging shit. And I might do a less good job on this one just for the sake of not taking forever, but I mean, sometimes I'm like really picky about how the shapes turn out, but honestly, I'm not. I'm not sure I'm super in the mood for that this morning, so I'm just gonna do something a bit lazier. Okay, I do have a bit of a pet peeve, though, that I'm gonna have to rectify. Um, I don't like it when they're disconnected. I want them all to be, like, a continuous piece. Now, obviously, I could also do rotation and stuff, which I might need to do for this one, because there's too many... Uh, there's too many vertically-looking letters... So, like, if it comes to that, it comes to that. It's fine. Also, apologies, my voice sounds not ideal this morning because I'm not super trying. I'm kind of trying. Trying a little bit. This is going to be such a funky-ass looking shape. Mm. Uh, that one looks stupid. I need to do something about this. <laughs> of course, like, I would pick a phrase that is going to give me a hard time, because fucking Murphy's Law or something. <sighs> Seriously, what the hell can I attach off of that one? Let me try moving the cough over. This might work. Oh, yeah, there we go. Cover up, like, all the weirdness of the letters with other letters. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. That's how I roll. It's got that little bit sticking out. I don't know how much I care about that. This is probably good enough. Alright, so I guess let me, um, put that back. 
where it was, and I don't know what the fuck to do with you. I'll put you over here, maybe. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect, because the next stage of the process is where I, like, copy and mirror the shit out of everything. So it, the intent is to make it stop being recognizable as letters, and ultimately it doesn't really matter what the shape starts out as originally because after a lot of copying and mirroring it'll it'll look different anyway. You know what? Maybe I'll move this down here. I don't know. I feel very indecisive right now. Anyway, let's for the sake of the video, let's kind of just roll with this. So you see there's a continuous shape. There's not really like I mean, you can still kind of very clearly make out letters, but that's fine. It's it's not a problem. So I'm going to group them all together with control G and because I'm annoying, I'm going to move this to the top of the layers list just because it bothers me. All right. So then I'm going to make a copy and I'm going to I'm going to hide the lower layer, kind of like an undo button. If, if I somehow horribly fuck this up and I need to re like revisit the symbol, how it was, then I can just go back to that. So that's my insurance policy. But let's assume that this will turn out okay. So I make a copy of it again, and then I start mirroring, either vertically or horizontally or both, and just kind of really just kind of fucking around. You can get some really interesting things coming out of... Like, even this, this already looks pretty cool. Um, looks like, it kind of looks like there's a, it looks vaguely insect-like, and it's got, like, claws or something. I don't know. Point is, like, even just that one step kind of made it more interesting. And then once I start doing more steps, then we'll see um, if we do the vertical. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm starting to get all paranoid about how, like, the alignment goes like left-right alignment. Um, I'm kind of just winging it here. I'm not sure if this will actually turn out good or if I'll have to just scrap this and be like, oh, this was just for the video. It's not, it's it's fine. It's not, <laughs> it's not the final product. But you can see I'm really just taking the shape and geometrizing the shit out of it. Now, I'm not, like, super enamored with how this looks. It looks kind of shitty. So, that's that's often the case. I def it's, it's rare that I'll get it right the first time. So, I really just kind of move these around and, and just try a bunch of things and see what sticks and what doesn't. It's, it's very much kind of luck and experimentation. It's, it's not like, oh, I'm trying to make it look an exact way. It's like, no, I'm really just kind of, really just winging it. This looks a bit more promising, maybe. It might take me a lot of attempts before I actually get something that looks, eh, not really feeling it. Honestly, the problem with this one is that there's too many, like, right angles. So, I mean, in that, in, in this type of situation, I might just kind of go back to the original shape um, because it's it's too much it's just it's a bit ridiculous so I, I kind of basically I'm, I decided this isn't gonna work so what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna start rotating the original shape before I start mirroring and this will hopefully help with the very right angledness look of it uh, see, okay, now this, this is a bit more interesting, right? It's, there's like, more diversity of lines, and even though all I did was basically angle it or tilt it a little bit, that can make a big difference. So let's, let's, let's try with, with this one. So I got my horizontally mirrored, and now I'm going to try... See what I can do with the vertical shit. If I can like kind of come up with, yeah. See, this could work, or maybe this. 
as I said, I don't really know how it's going to turn out until I just do it. So let's try this one and see how this turns out. Ooh, that's a bit more interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Let's, let's do another one. I usually do, like, both the 40... Ooh, nah, that's... It's, this one could work, but it's a little bit chaotic. It's a little bit busy. Although, I mean, I, this, this one could just, like, I could just roll with it. But I'm not, I'm not quite happy with it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, keep tinkering. It also, whoops, I forgot I made another copy. So like, sometimes it helps to move them apart a little so that there's less crazy overlap at the rotation step, but I still, even though I've done like almost two dozen of these, I still don't have like a super good feel of what rotation is going to do. So it's always kind of like, Let's just do it and see what happens. It's still too busy and crowded. I mean, this looks kind of okay, but it's there's a lot of white space. Um, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? No, I'm not feeling it. And no, I'm not Mr. Krabs. I'm at the very least Mrs. Krabs, but I'm also. Uh, I'm sorry, why am I inserting Spongebob into this? <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'm just, I'm trying to like imagine what would happen when I rotate, but it, it's, as I said, it's really difficult to do that. So just, but hey, it doesn't cost me much except like a few seconds to, ooh, to like just do the rotation and see what happens. It's it's very mechanical. It's like people are like, oh that's so pretty. And I'm just like, I mean yeah, but the process that I, I use to get to it is is very, very mechanical. I almost kinda like this. It's just like the outer part is a little bit it's a little bit iffy. The inner part looks pretty cool though. I think one, one thing I might want to try is either bring them closer together or uh, separate them out more. Holy shit, this video is like 23 minutes already. Uh, I feel like maybe I should do editing, except I don't really feel like it because... Eh. I don't usually do super long videos, but... When it's like kind of a, not tutorial, but like, when it's th this kind of video I think is okay to have it be like super wicked long because it's, I'm doing a thing and then, ew, what the fuck, why does that look so terrible? I, I don't understand why the rotation like horribly ruined that one. <sighs> Yeah, I'm still not happy with it, as you can tell, because I keep undoing what I'm doing. Alright, so though we tried bringing them closer together. Maybe, like, let's try bringing them apart a little more. I keep forgetting I can right-click and do rotate, blah blah blah, 90 degrees counterclockwise. Well, except that I can't do 45 degrees with that context menu, so. Alright, there's definitely something funky about the rotation, because, like, this looks okay, so then why is it... I think, like, the center of it is, is kind of off, so... Um, usually one way to fix that is to like stop having them be grouped and instead start flattening them together um, because when you do that the center of the rotation changes and it doesn't do weird unpredictable shit like that so 
honestly, like, I might just need to start doing that. I kind of want to wrap this up because this is taking super long, and yeah, I just, I'm starting to worry about how long this is taking. Ah, fuck. What is, what is the problem here? Do I have too many of them? Can I not? <laughs> is this not going to work? Dude, why? What is your deal? <sighs> Sometimes they don't want to combine nicely, and that pisses me off. I'm not really sure why in this in this particular instance. Honestly, Fireworks' like, algorithm for combining stuff is pretty opaque to me. So I'm kind of just... <laughs> I'm kind of just taking it one step at a time here to maybe get it to not be stupid. Oh sweet, so far so good. It sometimes is really arbitrary and depends on how stuff is layered, um, like which layers on top of which layer. It's annoying, honestly, but there we go. We got one big ass composite shape path thingy. Now, I don't really feel like doing that again for the, for the bottom one, so I'm just going to copy this and match up to where the bottom one used to be, or is currently, but will stop existing shortly, <laughs> because I'm lazy. I use that nice grid thing, be like, alright, that's, that's where it was, that's where it should be, so now I can just delete this one and this one and make this come back and then honestly just like flatten them two together as well and just this this might help the rotation if it doesn't then I'm fucked because now that I've flattened them all I can't really can't really make more edits so this is kind of where I'm what I'm going with balls to the wall here let's do it now when I do yeah that one came out okay when I do these combinations, I have to double check that it didn't butcher some part of the shape because it's a bit unpredictable how it does it. Oh, are you fucking serious? It still comes out looking weird. Why? What is so funky about this shape? It's it, isn't it symmetrical? It looks symmetrical to me. Like, what? Why? Why you do this? You see, like, th it doesn't look right. The central part looks looks dumb. It doesn't look right. I might just need to, like, reposition it manually. Which is gonna be a nightmare, because... What? How do, how do I know when it's centered exactly? Oh, okay, that's actually better. Yeah, that, the, I guess it must not be perfectly square. Even though it claims to be. That's bizarre. Oh! When it gets rotated, its dimension changes slightly. You see that? This one's 539 by 539. The other one is um, 544. So it's, there's a 5 pixel difference. So that's that's what screwed everything up. Now I'm trying to eyeball this and figure out if I did if I adjusted it correctly. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. It's hard to say. I'm trying to make make it as symmetrical as possible, but it's really it's I don't know. I might just leave it. I don't know. Close enough. <laughs> so, I mean, the result is, eh, I've done better, but also I don't actually wait. Let me look at the outer part. Oh, dude, the outer part looks kind of iffy. Oh. I want symmetry, damn it. 
this does not look like symmetry. I, like, I got the inner part looking relatively decent, and then the outer part just looks like shit, and I don't know why. Yeah, sometimes my shapes just don't don't work out, and I have I have one possible trick up my sleeve. I say possible because I don't know if it will actually work out. Actually, one <laughs> one possible trick is to just like just just say, "Up, oh, this is it. This is the shape." This I don't really like the way this turned out. It it it's like it looks dumb. It, it, it looks dumb. It, it's... Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I want to delete the video now because it, it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. And, and the rotation is just killing me. It's killing me. It's killing me. It looks like poop. Keep keep tinkering with it, hoping that maybe there's a way to salvage this. But it is, it's kind of a dumpster fire. I'm not gonna lie. It would be lying of me to say it's not a dumpster fire. This just stuff doesn't want to line up. Despite my best efforts, it is not symmetrical, and that kills me. I love symmetry. Asymmetrical shit generally makes me unhappy and this this is kind of making me unhappy I, I'm I'm disappointed disappointed now I might cheat honestly I might I might cheat a little I have I have a planned trick up my sleeve maybe except this composite shape is now really fucking lagging my computer you have to understand, I'm running a... I got a Windows computer from 2014. It's it's old. Because it's asymmetrical, I'm going to rotate this fucker and hope that it covers up the imperfections with the rotation. Honestly, that might work. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm desperate here. My, my attempted creation is kind of crashing and burning, and it's making me sad. Rotate again. It's just, it's going to make it look chunkier. But I'm hoping that the multiple rotations will cover up some of the imperfections. Uh, it kind of maybe helped. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. It it looks like a mess, honestly. It eh. I'm really tempted to just scrap this. Just say, "Fuck it. I I screwed this up. Start over." <laughs> really really tempted to do that. I'm going silent because it occurred to me that flipping might be a better idea than rotation for trying to cover up imperfections. It, I don't know, it still looks, it still looks iffy. Uh, 
Alright, you know what? I am going to save this and uh, start go back to the drawing board. This is why I saved my copy, my, my original object, because I know that sometimes it's not going to work out. And this is one of those times, and this video is probably going to be like a fucking hour because it's because I, I couldn't, I wasn't quite satisfied with, with the result. So, there's a really good chance that this video will never see the light of day. And you know what? I'm kind of okay with that. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe kind of okay with that. But I don't want to give up yet. I want to keep trying. I want to keep trying, damn it. This bitch don't give up so easy. <laughs> Sometimes I do. Yesterday I was really fucking upset and depressed and just hating everything. It was a bad, it was a bad day. It was a really bad day. Mm, this might work. <clears throat> this is all contingent on how the fucking rotation goes. <gasps> oh, okay. This one looks more promising, actually. It, there is less asymmetric bullshit going on here. Alright, this, I might be onto something here. I still want to tweak, uh, I still want to experiment a little with the, um, the placement, like, having stuff closer together versus having it farther apart. But this, this kind of looks more promising. But, but I'm like, I don't want to even say idiot savant because it's, it's not that I'm a savant or that I'm an idiot. It's like, this is just basically dumb luck. Like, I'm trying things, and rotating, and copying, and mirroring, and I'm like, will it turn out good? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> and honestly, most of the time it turns out pretty good. Um, this one I'm kind of happier with. The central part looks really pretty. It's, it looks like some kind of flower. And then there's all these, like kind of lines sticking out. It looks, it's intriguing. It's got like visual complexity that is appealing to me. Um, so like this, this could be like one version of it, this right here. Um, I am tempted to keep trying, but this video is really, really long already. Um, you know, it's, it's like, shit, super, it's gotten super long. Oh no, these ones are, these should stay together. I was, I was gonna try another thing. Is that the one I want? Yes. Bear with me here, I'm trying to... I, I'm trying to keep this one as a candidate and like potentially tweak this more. Oh, darn it. Well, <laughs> I ended up with the, uh, the mirrored version, which is not quite what I wanted. Uh, This 
can be really frustrating sometimes. I'm trying to get this top part. <laughs> Trying to fuck around with this top part some more. I'm trying to see if there's any other interesting possible transformations I can make to it before deciding, you know what, close enough. Oh wait, shit, this is starting to look familiar. This is starting to look like my earlier fuck up which didn't really pan out. Oh dear. Oh no. Luckily I've got some saved versions to just roll with if if I get too disappointed by the the latest experiment. Now of course one thing that you'll probably remark is but Lena, what does this have to do with Steven Universe? I'm like, well, actually nothing. It's it's just the Hebrew phrase. Like, I stopped giving a shit about the original subject matter once once I convert it to a phrase. It it could be about fucking beans or something. I, I couldn't care less. This is purely a geometric exercise, which you know, in some ways, like, oh that's kinda of disappointing. I thought you were making a special thing just for me, because I'm a special snowflake. And I'm like I mean, I am. The the process captures the phrase, and that still retains some semantic. This is kind of nice, actually. That that still has, you know, semantic importance. It's just abstracted away behind a bunch of different steps. This also looks kind of flower-like. It's got like these petals. One, two, three, four. It, there's, it's always going to be eight. There's no reason for me to count them. The way this works is this is going to be eight. <laughs> it's either going to be four if I decide that it's complex and interesting enough to not rotate again, or, and uh, this one might be suffering from not quite perfect rotation. Although, no, nah, I think this one's okay. More or less. All right, so now. <laughs> In the interest of time, um, <sighs> in the interest of time, and then she, and then she trails off. Um, I have kind of a bit of a problem with wanting to flatten things. <laughs> Wait, hold on. No, one of the other ones. Yes, yes, good. This. Nope. <laughs> I need to do them one at a time, I think. No, these have overlap. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna not care. I'm gonna make myself not care about flattening them. All right. So I I, need, I really need to wrap this shit up. So we've got three candidates. There's this one, which is pretty good. Then there is this one. And then there's the original one, which I was not happy with. And honestly, which one will it be? I don't know. I might I might save three different versions, just just cause I might just do that. Actually, there's there's honestly no reason not to do that. It's not like I'm wanting for hard drive space. And then maybe I can just give the person the choice. It's like, I actually came up with three because I'm an overachiever. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, if I do keep this video, it will certainly be an interesting one. 
very, very long though. It's, who the fuck's gonna watch a 45 minute video? I don't know, somebody who's a masochist and doesn't has too much time on their hands? Maybe. I don't know. I don't think anybody will want to watch this. It's literally just me talking like a dumbass and playing around with shapes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if people are like interested in my process. They can they can watch how fantastic it is. I'm trying to get this centered ish. I t I generally tend to prefer having it just touching the circle. And and then that's that's good enough. And now I'm gonna apply the color to the entire thing. Uh, and unselect the circles. The way I did this originally, the circles are <sighs> they're doing an edge fill rather than a center fill or like a pencil. So I have to do them separately. It's a pretty shush. It's a pretty minor inconvenience. So like, yeah, here's 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 a version. Let's save this as Yahalom Kahol uh one. <laughs> Achat there. Let's say it in Hebrew. So that's that's um version one. And then we're gonna do the other ones. And yeah, maybe when I look at them side by side with them fully blown up, maybe I'll actually have a preference and I'll just pick one. But honestly, in this case, I might just give the quote unquote client. I'm doing these for free, by the way. I might, I don't know if I'll ever charge for them because I mean, I would be charging for my time because this takes a while. Sometimes it takes a while. It really depends. Some of them have taken me like under 15 minutes when I get lucky. But this one decided to just, I don't know, maybe it's because I was on camera and like trying to, I mean, camera. No, center, center line, darn you. Eh, no. This one looks more center than the other one. No. Fucker. All right, nope. It's like just a little too small for them to all touch nicely. Of course it is. Let's try this. Ah, there we go. No! Fuck you! It's a touchpad. I swear. Okay. Alright. This works. This works. We can do it. I am determined to finish this in under an hour. We're at 48 minutes here. Um, this is really just me saving the, the different versions, though. I think this is fine. So this is Gilsa Hashnia, the second version. And then we've got one more. Usually I don't I don't go to this length of effort. I just I'm like, eh, good enough. But, you know, me being on video is kind of keeping me accountable and <laughs> making me think more carefully about what I'm doing. So, um, thanks, YouTube peeps, for making me think. You're making me do work on a fucking Sunday. <laughs> uh, I swear, I'm like, kind of... This, the way I'm talking in this video is, is very much inspired by ContraPoints. This kind of humorous, sarcastic, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. It's something. Thank you, Lady ContraPoints, for your inspiration. Of course, this is nowhere near as entertaining because there's zero production value. This is literally just a recording of my screen. But, shh, don't worry about that. Don't worry. It'll be fine. <sighs> um, the edges are a bit funky. They're not quite... <sighs> I'm 
not sure if I should make it bigger or smaller to fix this. I don't want it going outside of the circle, which... Fuck, it's going outside of the circle. Also, my voice is just has gone to shit, so I apologize. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking... Got male voice syndrome here. Listen, I'm trying, alright? <laughs> really trying here. Make these look not shitty. Alright, that's... Good enough, good enough. Save this as version 3 and call it. <laughs>